CERN is the European Laboratory of Particle Physics. It was founded in 1954, it's an international treaty, and it's a place where scientists from around the world can get together to do fundamental particle research. The mission is to discover how the universe is made, how it works. So the, we have to work through uh, why do we have mass, why are we not half antimatter and half matter, and what the universe was like just after the Big Bang started. So this is fundamental research. So our organization's objectives for cloud computing are to be able to address the massive problems that uh, we are facing in terms of the amount of data that arrives from the Large Hadron Collider. Um, this is a 27 kilometer uh, ring, uh, 100 meters under the ground between France and Switzerland, and that produces between 25 and 30 petabytes a year. Um, this data has to be analyzed, understood, and cloud computing allows it to do this efficiently. We were looking around, it was about 18 months ago, at the different options, and OpenStack stood out in terms of both the vibrancy of the ecosystem, the number of people rotating around the community, and also a strong technical base. Um, we like contributing towards open source projects, and we have the engineering skills, and so therefore OpenStack was a con uh, project which we could both benefit from, but also contribute to. at Cisco is uh, responsible for delivering our collaboration applications, and so that includes uh, WebEx, which is web conferencing, Jabber, which is our, um, our instant messaging solution, and Cisco Social, which is a, uh, which is a group and, and company collaboration software, similar to Facebook for businesses. Our OpenStack team actually, um, for internal to Cisco, we have a development team um, under Jason Dorn as our development manager in Denver. Uh, under him we have a uh, cloud server, uh, an OpenStack architect, um, and about uh, five to seven engineers, depending on the time frame you're talking about, but uh, growing all the time here. But those, that team actually was responsible for working with Morantis to create the um, create the environment or the, the deployment systems that we're going to use and it's specifically around the extensions that we've done to OpenStack to meet our particular needs. Simultaneously, uh, our group, Morantis, and Lou Tucker's team, uh, the OpenStack and Cisco team under the, uh, the Office of the Cloud CTO, were, uh, were working together to create a common, a common deployment, something that we could, we could all stand behind. I think the thing that all of us can do as, as large organizations implementing OpenStack is to collaborate a lot more. Um, in fact, one of the things that we've that has become very apparent during this OpenStack Summit is the amount of, uh, of, of opportunity we have for collaborating on some of these kind of block and tackle types of things that we all need to do. Everyone who's running OpenStack operation needs to take care of monitoring, needs to take care of deployment scripts, needs to take care of alerting and metrics. So all of these things, um, we need to do a, a much better job as a community kind of coming together and, and developing these together. And we made some great contacts at, at this uh, summit to actually, when we get back home, we're going to be very busy next week comparing notes and comparing what we're working on together and saying, okay, how do we maximize all of our time? And so I think the, the advice I would have to any company implementing OpenStack is find your peers and start getting together and talking about what you're doing and how you're going to work together. Wikimedia Foundation enables every person in the world to freely share access to the sum of human knowledge. Um, we have a number of projects. Um, we have about nine right now. We have Wikipedia, we have Wikimedia Commons, we have Wikispecies, Wikisource, etc., etc. Over time, as the sites grew and became more popular, it became more and more difficult for us to give out root privileges to volunteers, and we started getting staff. And from that, we our initial staff hires were um, the people that built the site from the perspective of development and infrastructure. And over time, we added more and more staff from for those roles, and so less and less volunteers. Um, we think that this is a negative trend, and we would like to reverse that. So um, we created a project called Wikimedia Labs. Wikimedia Labs is a virtualized environment that is meant to treat our site infrastructure as we treat our normal content projects, meaning that anyone in the world can edit and share, and we can also host this set of knowledge, which in this situation, the knowledge is the way the infrastructure works and the way the infrastructure acts and things like that. 
So um, we have a virtualized environment using OpenStack. To this date, I'm very, very happy with how the OpenStack community is working and growing. And specifically, like the strength of the community and the people involved there. It's, it's uh, a very positive, like very uh, well-growing uh, community. And especially the different involvements from the, the different places. Like each different community has their, uh, has their own thing that they want to put in. And they all seem to be like picking the right things somehow. And it just continues to grow in the, in the right way. So I'm very happy with how things are going. So the mission of PayPal is to revolutionize payments. We want to deliver the future of money today. We are moving to cloud powered by OpenStack to enable agility, availability, and innovation to help get the best products to our customers sooner than the competition. We realize the majority of the developers and the brain power is outside of PayPal. But we want to be able to leverage all of that collective brain power. We want to be able to use it and we also want to be able to contribute back to it so we are not tied into any specific vendors. We are actually tied into open standards that anybody can use, leverage, and also contribute back so we keep these ecosystems and the innovation just come in line. It also enables us, as part of the open standards, when we are looking at new products, we can tell different vendors that we are working with that it has to be compatible with open standards. And when we say this to somebody, it is not just unique for PayPal, it is something that is a standard in the industry. So anything that they are doing, it is going to be benefiting not just PayPal, it will actually benefit the entire ecosystem. It will also benefit our vendors because they don't actually have to grapple with multiple standards to meet different customer needs. Uh, Sena Corporation is an internet company in China and for Chinese community around the world. Sena operates two major business lines currently. The first is uh, Sena.com. Sena.com is uh, uh, the largest information and entertainment web portal in China. It operates uh, such as uh, financial uh, and the promote service and the news report. And the, the second uh, business line is Weibo.com. Uh, Weibo.com is a social platform in China. It's, uh, uh, it's launched as 2009 and now is the biggest social platform in China. OpenStack also provides the highly vulnerability and uh, massive scalable infrastructure platform for our customers. And um, our customers uh, uh, no longer need to care about the underlying infrastructure, just uh, focused on their application uh, and uh, focused on their uh, application layer. And then uh, this extremely uh, speed up their uh, development and uh, shorten the time to release their product. eBay Marketplaces is the, um, the organization delivering the eBay uh, website and uh, my group is in charge of the, um, running the platform and the infrastructure for eBay Marketplace websites. The main goal for uh, moving to the cloud was to enable agility and innovation. So our primary goal with uh, our cloud infrastructure is to offer developers a very fast way to deploy their application and increase, uh, decrease their time to market and improve their agility and efficiency. We evaluated multiple solutions uh, before to select OpenStack. Uh, one of the key um, criteria for us is uh, vendor uh, independence and uh, having a solution that is open source. And also the, the size of the community was a deciding factor. Uh, what we realized is that when we found a problem uh, with one of the release, by the time we were ready to submit a patch, someone would have already fixed the bug and we did not have a lot of work to do uh, 